All right. Can you guys see? Is it zoom in? Zoom out? Zoom in? Okay. Hi. Welcome. If you're new, welcome. So today I'm doing another Ikea hack. And what I mean by another, if you're new to my channel, be sure to check out this video because I already did an Ikea hack with a dresser. Today I'm doing something very similar. So in my last video, I DIY a dresser that I saw on West Elm. I didn't want to pay West Elm prices, so I made it myself. But since that video, Ikea has made it significantly easier for me to make this type of furniture. So I'm going to be doing another fluted furniture out here with my bestie units. You guys know I've had these for seven years now, um, so I'm kind of upgrading the space. Here's an insider tip just for my fellow friends who are watching this video. I'm gonna be updating my space, okay? And today we're starting with the best unit. Thank you, Ikea, for making this a lot easier for me, and I don't have to go out and buy fluted furniture and do all the steps that I did in that video. Again, if you haven't seen that video, link up here. Watch it, okay? But because they have these new fluted doors that I can attach to the Bessie unit is gonna make my job a lot easier. Only problem is they come in this weird wood tone and I don't like it. It's like that fake Ikea wood. We all know what that looks like. My attempt is to paint it white to kind of like blend in with the space, but I still want the fluted look here in my space. And then we're gonna add some black hardware on the doors. I only have a little bit of coffee left, so I might as well finish this. Fun fact, this cost me 10 bucks. Can we talk about inflation? A couple months ago it was seven. We gotta head over to Ikea. I wanna show you guys the door, show you what it looks like. And then we'll go over to my parents' house and spray paint them. So this was kind of weird because this used to be 45, now it's 50, so inflation. Okay, so obviously it's not the same day. To be honest, I got lazy and I left two of these in the car. I bought a total of three. One I brought upstairs just to make sure it was the right size. And no, we're not at my parents' house. I did remember that the last time I did this with spray paint, it didn't turn out so good for me. So this whole method today is gonna be extra lazy. There's no cutting, there's no sanding. We're just gonna cross our fingers and hope for the best. I didn't pick up any hardware for this because one can only assume that the hardware that already exists on the cabinet should be good enough. But I don't know, I guess we'll find out together. Speaking of lazy method, I also didn't go out to buy paint because I didn't feel like it. So I found this in my closet. This is actually paint that the maintenance team gave to me. They said it was supposed to match my wall. It doesn't. I'm gonna use this to paint these cabinets. So hopefully this works. So I already opened this one. This is what they look like. I hope I don't need to sand this because I don't, I'm really tired. I don't feel like sanding anything. Got my little butter knife. I don't know why I'm cutting with my left hand. Instructions. I am so tired. Last one. What I think I'm gonna do is just lay down some plastic bags. Hope for the best. Like I said, I'm kinda winging this. Oh, too, oh no! Oh wait, that should be good enough. Got my paint brush. I'm not sanding this. I'm not priming it. Two things I would suggest you probably do. I, I'm just not. Ooh. Honestly, it doesn't look too bad, so. This is already a lot easier than my last one. We got halfway done. This doesn't look too bad. I'm not too mad at it. But what I am noticing is these little pieces that keep coming off the brush. Don't buy a Walmart brush, I guess. Okay, so one thing I am noticing, because I was being cheap, I failed to realize, or remember I should say, that this paint that my maintenance team gave me is flat paint. I'm going to need a satin finish paint. And I'm not saying this is the right way to do things. Like, I'm not saying, use this paint, use this brush, do this. This is not a tutorial. Echo. 
What time does Home Depot close? The Home Depot Highway yeah, closes in 35 minutes. It will be open tomorrow from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. 35 minutes? Um, we're gonna go to Lowe's. They close at 10. It's 9.55. Paint, 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 paint. Small, small can of paint. Furniture finish. Ooh, $28, okay. Ray paint prices is looking like it. This is what I'd rather use, to be honest. I guess this will have to do. When did paint get so expensive? I'll wait. Also, when did paintbrushes get so expensive? I actually bought two cans of paint. One I left in my car because I have to return it. It was 20 something dollars. I got the smallest can of paint ever because I don't need that much paint. I'm a Virgo. I don't like things to look tacky. Today is another day. Uh, I think everything did turn out pretty nicely, but the Virgo in me just wouldn't let one thing slide. And that's the fact that this white doesn't fully match the cabinet. I went back to Lowe's, returned that $20 paint can, brought my original cabinet doors to Lowe's, had them tell me the paint color, and they fixed me up a nice little sample and this cost me $4. This is a Valspar color sample. It's also a satin finish as well. So I'm gonna give this one more coat. This is it. This is all you need if you guys do this project. There's one piece of advice I can give you is to take your Ikea cabinets and color match them, or I'll just leave the color code of the paint that I have in the description box. Attaching these doors are very simple. It's the same hardware that I had before, which makes this DIY, again, a lot easier than my last project. If you wanna take this as a tutorial, I really wouldn't, but if you want to, one thing I'm gonna say is make sure your cabinets are color matched, make sure you have the right finish, make sure you have a good brush, and that's pretty much it. Like I said, this was pretty easy. I think it really did upgrade my space. It made my old Vesta cabinets that I've had here for years look new and fresh. It definitely doesn't look like I got it from Ikea and it looks like I got it from a high-end store. So I really love that I was able to upcycle furniture that I've already had. I always recommend doing that where you can. If you haven't seen my other Ikea hacks video, be sure to check it out. That one's a lot more complicated, but I still think it's worth a watch. Also, you guys, I'm trying to hit 100K by Christmas. So do your girl a favor by subscribing to the channel and giving the video a like if you found it helpful, if you found it useful. It's an easy DIY. If you think it's an easy DIY, give it a like and a thumbs up and I'll catch you guys in my next one. Peace.